Welcome back. This is Wade Tripp apologizing to everyone as we will start doing it. And please excuse my failures for being a technical support person. And thank you again for Trenton for doing a great play-by-play -play description. Hopefully we have changed a few settings and now we will be able to do a nice smooth in-game of it. And the game should be starting soon. As we are moving into our spectate position and they will be doing champion select in just a moment. Thank you very much. As we go champion selection in just a moment. Here is our player roster as they are getting into position with Rocco as support. Speak lesson to me. Artie is playing the jungle. Richard is playing our carry with as Devil King Risingo. Goon is doing the middle as George Humble. And lastly, we've got Simon Sher. Xerox is playing the top. Let's let's uh let's let's talk about the last game there for a second. So um Indianapolis was able to get the ball rolling mid very quickly with the Azir. Uh, definitely improved some CS leads, Not a which is probably why they didn't feel comfortable uh, ganking uh, for the Lissandra setting up those ganks, especially that one field gank as the new new. Um, but yeah, they definitely uh, on their mid laner to let him know that it's not his fault. Uh, let him know that they still got his back and that they still want to put their eggs in their basket like they did last time. Uh, as uh, we begin to champ select, they banned the same characters on both sides for the most part. So definitely looking again for a good solid. Come on, I won't hurt uh, you. I mid -lane promise. Matchup, while uh, Purdue is trying to focus on that top lane, jungle, and generally just all around strong picks for uh, the meta. Your emperor shall return. Let's see what they do next here. That goes the Azir. Definitely response to last game. Definitely a very strong pick uh, to the current meta. And considering that he was able to get rolling so early, um, not necessarily a bad thing to get rid of. But they again first picked the Kaisa. That's a very, that allowed them to pretty much seal the deal once she got collector. So again, they would really glue that Kaisa. And to do that, they picked Sin of Pike. Very good poke lane, very good all in, especially paired with a very strong ganking jungler. Not necessarily the Nunu this time, but someone like a Lee Sin, uh, Zen Zhao, or Elise. Uh, someone who can get in there and definitely just help out early, hit them hard, and scale decent. Definitely looking for picks with, uh, say, if they were to pick Elise or uh, uh, Lee Sin. And so. Purdue picks the Pantheon. I'm not sure if it's a Pantheon jungle, Pantheon top, or Pantheon mid. He's more support. He's a very versatile champion. He brings a lot of kill pressure to any lane or any jungle that they do pick. Uh, and we're just waiting on. Slips to do their support pick. Yep, a Leona. So that's very much a response to this pike. Trying to stop his engages, trying to stop his pop off. Oh, and because of that, they left the Seraphine wide open. So this is a very good team comp. Team fight comp for Park University right now, especially thanks to Seraphine's insane synergy with most of the new items. So this Pantheon, I'm I'm going to predict that it's going so to be a jungle to try and uh, fight off maybe this Elise, fight off maybe this Pantheon that might come out, uh, or I mean fight off this Lee Sin or Elise that may come out from Park side. Uh, but it might go top, and we'll have to see. Uh, that's a Shin Ban, so they're banning from the top. It seems that the Orn was giving them trouble last game, so they ban out the Orn. Carefully trying to limit that champion pool from Park here for the top laner. Let's, let's see what they are. Uh, there yeah. goes the Kled. Interesting choice. It's okay. the very good. The Nunu gone as well, so their team, depending on who they pick, definitely going to be a lot less tanky this time around. Already looking a lot less tanky thanks to the Seraphine, thanks to the Sinna, thanks to the Pike, but they have very good healing in this terms of utility, very good catch in terms of Sinna's or Seraphine and Sinna's extremely long ranges. Uh, and a lot of 
Execute because of the pipe. And it's a passive and it's extreme synergy with the collective. That is the Zap pick for the jungle. Ooh. Not something I was uh, predicting, but also extremely, extremely good pick. Because it does allow for that gank early, but it also allows to scale very well as a tank into the um, late game. And he does do a lot of damage, surprisingly, uh, since most people build one AP item, allows him to do some damage, allows him to be a little bit more self sustainable in those fights. That is the Silas, the Silas pick from mid lane, so definitely looking to steal the Seraphine ult or the Pike ult and definitely try to punish those uh, picks. And. Oh, no, no, no. Silas top. Interesting. I've not seen Silas top in a while. But definitely a preemptive move for whatever they uh, fly pick. So they have a lot of options here. They have the Poppy they can pick into this uh, Silas. They have um, Duelers like Fiora. Very good pick. Aurelia. Very good pick. It seems that they might be opting for the Renekton. He's very strong duelist. Yep, that's the Renekton pick top. Very strong duelist. Really allows them to take the pain to Silas top and beat him up. Uh, the Zoe here, they definitely want to uh, play poke cop. They definitely want to play poke, play catch cop. They want to catch the person out with the bubble, the Zoe bubble, which puts people to sleep. They want to follow up that with the Pantheon ult, uh, uh, Kaisa ult, and Leona ult. Definitely just want to catch people out here. Definitely drive home some pain. Uh, not necessarily as early as Park's team comp last game, but uh, definitely want to drive some pain on them with their poke catch comp. Uh, as for Park, they are team fight, team fight, team fight, team fight. They want to get their Zac Renekton in deep. They want to be healing them and poking constantly with that Senna. They want that Pike to be lurking around if you're trying to get assassinations and roaming early. And they want that Senna to scale safely and securely, get big charms, big damage, big heals during these team fights. So let's see uh, if they are can do that here. I expect they should because it's a it's a team fight comps are always going to be easier to execute on just to use over a poke comp. Poke comps rely on hitting skill shots. Poke comps rely on vision control, which granted Purdue had a lot of last game. They had very good vision control, but this time. Park has uh, tools to answer that vision control in terms of catch like Pike, uh, Seraphine, Sina, Zach, and even a little bit of Renekton. They can definitely catch out. They can face check these bushes a lot more securely, especially if they can get these items, say, Gore Drink on Renekton, which allows him to heal, take a bunch of damage, and um, a stair scare on top of that. Massive, massive gap in the top lane. So we're just gonna have to see what happens exactly here, but I am predicting a uh, the the park wants to fight. They want to fight early. They want to start grouping constantly for these drakes and constantly for these uh, barons and rift herald. So this pantheon pick, hmm, pantheon solace top or uh, duo top, that's something you often see. Uh, not recently. Silas is a very good pick with these new items. Very strong, especially if he builds Riftmaker. He can get a lot of true damage off, which ignores armor and MR completely, which is very uh, strong. And he can heal a lot. Or he has the uh, he has a few different options. The Riftmaker, like I just said, true damage, lots of healing, or uh, a more engagey uh, Proto Belt. Uh, well, its former name was Proto Belt. I think it's Hex Tech Rocket Belt now. But yeah, he can go in, go faster, uh, and hit a lot harder with the Proto Belt with more catch potential, which is what they definitely want to do here. The Pantheon can invade the Zac, not as easily as if the Zac had been, or if it had been a Lee Sin uh, or an Elise. But he can definitely go in there. He can definitely put some pain onto the Zac, make it a lot harder by counter jungling. And then start looking for those ganks early. Uh, oh, they changed Pantheon recently. So formerly on his E, he could block tower shots, which is a very extremely strong ability because it allowed him, it basically granted him damage immunity from any one direction that he picked.
But they changed that recently. Now it only works on champion damage and minion damage. <laughs> so he's not allowed to go in and dive and come out unscathed as he would before. So hopefully uh, Park can use that knowledge to their advantage if they are dived. And definitely put some pain onto the Pantheon or put some pain onto the Silas. Whereas I'm expecting him to get dove a lot in this game. Because Renekton, if he does not get his advantages accrued early, he will definitely go down very quickly. So we're getting into the game here. And we're going to see uh, the setups for the teams. Interesting skins. I like them all. I like them all. Black Frost Renekton, you know, personal favorite. He seems to have gone Resolve Secondary, which means he's definitely going for a more tanky uh, style. We're going to be getting into the game. knife for the pantheon so he definitely wants to duel um definitely wants to get in there and duel some people take some damage reduction and hit a lot harder well for the everybody else it's the standard items nothing yet on the zack which is uh pretty common pretty common you don't want to uh, give away exactly what you're going to be doing on your champion especially when you're champion like zack but it see it might be a mistake here for the zack that he did not have items seems he's backing no it was i don't think it was a mistake so yeah he's backing it seems that we are going to see what um version of the jungler smite he picks up he also picks up the Ender knife very good oh never mind focusing he's going for the blue slow blue smite as people like to call it so yeah nothing odd in terms of summoner spells or summoner uh abilities here that's a except for the uh the Sinna. let's focus in on the Sinna here she has a support item, which means, which screams to me that they are going for a, uh, not a support Senna, but they're going for a more scaly Senna. This was uh, extremely prevalent last season, which uh, is where the support item for the and they allow for stuff like this. Much of this is still allow for it, but it's definitely, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how they work. Uh, play around this spin pick with her unconventional item. You should be getting a lot more gold for doing a lot less here, which is a very good thing <laughs> for the uh, spin and pick. So yeah, she's going to be focusing on Pokemon right now, focusing on her clearing the gold while our uh, Rarko is going to be picking up all the minions that he can. Uh, not a lot since he's going to be to a uh, dive range combo. So it take it seems like the silence has gone for a start. And uh, yeah. I can see the Drakes will be spawning about six at the six uh, minute timer. And stuff, five minutes after the start. That is a support center. Well, support oath, I say support, but I'm very much in the skill of an 8 carry that they need later. Uh, with a slow. You know, I forget the name of the summon stat, or the cats of the green choice. It's a very good, very strong, not as prevalent since our uh, most things nowadays takes a lot of the center. So they go to hit and hook on the Titan. If the force is out, that's very good to force out our flash early. A very big advantage that they can definitely uh, take advantage of by calling down their Zach and Ivy with the Sassy. Because if you didn't know, uh, he, when his health bar goes down to zero, if his passive is up, he goes out to Ivy. And instead, he uh, splits into four little blobs, and those blobs each have their health bar. Uh, unfortunately, Seraphine dies without using any summon spell, <coughs> and his lane is pushed in. So that means even if he were to teleport back here, he'd still be losing a lot of gold XP and possibly dying to a re-yank. 
So that's a very good play, very good play to recognize and make there for Purdue. But they come here and they back off so to the Zoe back to the item. She backed her by so straight off the bat. That's that's a very good the Silas is really pressing the damage. He might even be able to kill. No, of course, it's just enough little bit damage. So that can very live is with the flash out. Very good for him with the reaction time. But very good for the Silas for forcing that out. Now, he might uh, teleport back here. I'm not sure where his way is exactly. It wouldn't be the best here to be able to teleport back. But he does. Uh, we'll have to see what he loses, and that is he might have lost in his time. Because his pros are definitely not uh, so he has the back top, so they can definitely look to gank. Next up is his crossback, he's looking to do a W6 here, but he doesn't have any points. He goes, I believe he's going to do a W6, and he looks to do it. He camps off of his opponent. They're bringing up that Leon again there. I think they're trying to do this. Uh, that's a flash in the pants now. Very good flash. I do think uh, it's a flash here. But unfortunately it goes down. Another one of those. Plays for Leon. Puts him up in the loop. Um, yeah. Definitely should have used flash there. But um, unfortunately, what, what can you really do when the pants are flash on top of you? Not, not a whole lot. Yeah, uh, they should definitely be focusing their resources now into the bot lane. I'm trying to put that Kaisa behind again. Can't let the style of It's a very strong lane, but it's, a, it's kind of a... I just say it's basically not as strong as people think. It looks strong, and it hurts a lot, it's a lot of but if you can put a per two people on him, he's not going to be able to survive that, especially with two things. And now that Renekton has 6 uh, if Zack was in the area, they could definitely call in a gank. They could definitely still the sound. Now it's equalized. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's a pretty small damage here. Oh, he tried to get a little bit of 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 uh, the gate needs to be filled with the right going back to the left. He's trying to catch up this uh, fight. He did not hit him yet. He did not hit him yet. He did not hit him yet. He from the uh, pipe, and that's a very good catch out for their team. Cut down uh, one of their big playmakers. So they can definitely look for a safe break here, but unfortunately, it looks like uh, the pipe is too low. He doesn't really have. Priority in the mid lane. So that's what's going to be looking for the Jake in the middle. Now, if you look at the uh, Sinus items, um, definitely going for my Skelly build. Definitely going for my Skelly because of that Q right there. He wants to sit back, try to get onto the Kaiser, and then he steps up the spawn and get gold to the next supporter. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Very good tank now. Very quick on the bottom of the team. Tank out, tank out, tank And I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna force the walk out. But he does force out the Sinus Island. It's a very big part of Sinus' survivability in this game. And thanks to Sinus' uh, skilly build as well. Sinus' build as well. And then we have the Divine Sunder. And another item. Get back and deal damage later. Uh, they're going to be going for the great force. Maybe not the top side. Maybe not the top side. Maybe not the They're probably going to be looking for another play mid lane, I'd say. Definitely setting up the vision around there. Sansa needs to be very careful. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of poke. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's going to be a poke. The other might be going to be side. No, it's not going to be good. Waiting for their opportunity. No, going back bot lane now. Unfortunately, the Zach hasn't really been doing as much as anything that he is. The Zach is definitely actually being uh, uh, He's being invaded constantly in the jungle. 
Seraphine has teleport here, but I would not teleport back. I don't think that's going to hovering. It's a very easy move. It's the one that has to uh, ignite and fly. So if he does it, teleport, and you want to walk away from the bot lane. Not what you want to see. That's three zero. What care is one zero on the uh, Silas? Not what you want to see for Park right now. Oh, man, that's a good bubble. Can't take advantage. He's taking too many power shots. Probably gonna have to back up. So, yeah, Park really is tough there. Right now, they're trying to uh, play normal. Right now, they want to play normal. They want to stop. Moving that pipe around the map, they want to have to get into the So this kick out, oh, that's a shutdown, massive shutdown by the Seraphine. That's very, very good uh, for them. And it seems like the Seraphine might be going for a Moonstone Renewer, which is extremely on the uh, Seraphine base. Uh, unfortunately, the active guns are there. Um, okay. Yeah. Like I said, they want to be start. They want to. They want to start scrapping as soon as they possibly can. I say, once uh, Sinna gets that mana moving up, they want to rotate the Sinna uh, sin mid. They want to rotate with the pike, top lane, which is still with the Silas. And they want to start beating them up around the map. Because whenever they play a clean game, it's just not. It's just not. Uh, it's just not going to be as easy. They can scrap, they can make it hard. 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 They can make Flash out from the side. Not flashing the Zach, but very good. They come to the floor and flash into the side. Oh, and the very good connection, but they both die. That's two for one. That is. That's just not dying here? Nope, that's still a very good connection. Oh, that's a very good connection right there. Oh, that's just a ton of damage. Tyson, 6 0. Definitely looking to dive the support here. That's his force to flash out. I'm probably going to keep chasing him. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, good charge from Seraphine. That's a knife from the Zoe. Close, close fight. Seraphine had a little bit more damage. He probably could have won that. Unfortunately. Enough. But that's his the room. Moon Summer Moon. I better say, very strong. I just thought it was going to be a good thing. Will it be enough to turn around the game? Uh, the park fans, hopefully. Um, yeah, this guy's just gonna back and pick up her mythical item. That's four mythical items to one on the side of Indianapolis. That's a 7 0 Kaisen. That's Scale Force also coming down again. Not the Kraken Slayer. Personally, I don't expect the Kraken Slayer to protect it because there's a lot less tanks. And Kaiser kind of Slayer's greatest weakness, uh, despite having true damage, it's tanked, which is not uh, max health. Renekton's building is not going to be able to Renekton building damage early and fighting early. And him losing this uh, top lane, he will be able to do it. 
Hefty goalie for them right now. Granted, teams have come back from worse, uh, i.e., EDG versus SK Telecom T1 uh, back in 2017. They came back from 10k goalie from a very, very, very good team. And I can see the same thing happening here. She's them out with a great team fight with a great set of penal, called by Jack over the top, called by Marco hitting a good one, two, for now. Michael, they have the tools here, they need to make use of it. Indianapolis doesn't have tools like that. They have tools that allow them to pick, get picks, get picks uh, look for kills, but they don't have the tools to team fight as well as Park does. So Park really needs to group here, really needs to look for these picks around those old and recognize that. They have those picks up right now. That is a very worth trick. That is massive gold onto anybody on their team, especially tank. Tanks can very much carry in season 11. So that's a good kill. They also force out both summoner spells in the zone, which is also better. So they want to take advantage of that during the next team. They're doing what they did in the last fight, very much allowed them to hold the gold or keep the gold lead safe. So they want to do it again. They want to look for two, three more chances. They want to go in with the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. They want to stun the Zap and the Fox. Yes, I didn't 
But that's massive, massive value onto the uh, Pike. It looks like Pike is going to have to be with the burden of carrying. But again, it's Pike, so it's a lot easier to do than, say, uh, Zach or Renekton. Because Renekton won't fall off. So, very good tech there. Very good picks. Do you really see how they respond? Do they force another fight? They don't have ults now, or they don't have ults while. Indianapolis has a few of their own. They're probably not going to be going to the country. Yeah, we'll see what the Indianapolis can pick up another one deals with. But they're definitely going to have to attack it for the next one to the end of the soul. Soul is a very uh, huge win card. And <coughs> Modern League, I would say they added soul. Uh, teams that get to four grades get a little bit of a bump. They will be damaged. Or, and it seems that they are going to go to the game where the game is going to be the game. They're not playing around their vision. They're not playing around their vision at all. They don't see it happening. Uh, yeah, they only have one word in the game. Uh, they need to... They should have been setting up the game after they got their last pick. They're going to go to the other game. Still, it, the Golden definitely moves down to 6 to about 8k, which is very, very good. If you know, another one of the last of the again, which is very much good. But it seems like they're not going to recognize that, so they are not allowing the Golden to get a chance to group and team. Because the Silas is pushing maybe probably in fact needing one or two members, and then the Golden Knight is going to be a not who you want to see because he's uh, been losing the game all day. But it seems like they're going against him to send a shot. But the problem is that he's done that. He's going to stay by the side. He's going to stop the game from the pipe. And that's pipe up down. That's not very good because that's what the winning ability is. But that's very good that they got him to stop the game from the pipe one day. We're looking for the uh, morning. Uh, that's not good. I'm not going to go back in. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back in. This is not a damage to the news. This is just a. Oh, but that's a massive fight. That's three people. And even if they take money, that's so more value for uh, Park here than it is for uh, Because it allows those super mains that will come in with worth a lot more gold than, say, a cannon. It allows the super mains to basically be funneled directly into the carry for them. Now, if they stick the center move, he just bops on those, uh, speeds up those super mains, he gets massive gold lead. And that can very much easily be a if uh, Park takes advantage of that fight. So I think they lost a good hit top, so they think he's rotating that center around a lot. Uh, Park really kicks his breath right into the Silas, loses by half a minute, he has time, he has passive, he has dash, he has away. <coughs> Silas goes looking, doesn't find him. He's about to stop him. The only thing I'm going to do is he's going to push it out by the way. I think that they want to put all their cards into the Kaisa. It's really a supporting card. Staff Boy Warriors are coming out. They're using the Kaisa. Very good Kaisa card. But not really what you want to see if she's your sole AP source, per se. Normally, uh, you see maybe a. Uh, I would say a Lydia, if you want to do something like that. I'll see the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, but the cost is still very. 
That's a dust blade onto the uh, Senna. Not, not cost. Uh, a lot more damage than say Divine Summon. A lot. Uh, doesn't matter. They start up the Silas. Ooh, good stop block. Block the Titan. Block the Silas. Going back to the Titan. Ooh, no. But it seems like it's going to be forced it and they're going to be able to find the force it. That's it, baby. Too bad. Oh, look at that. Too bad. 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 Uh, items like the boost and set it, not the great. Uh, the dust blade is very good. I think they were saying the only one of these things, they had a more techy call. I thought they were like a little bit more techy. But they still had it. Oh, they were going to score. 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 But the city, like I said, a lot of damage. They said, man, great stuff from the kiting from the center. That's Silas Teleport, they can't end the game, they're forced back. Maybe back in position, probably go for the Drake. Oh! Great catch from Larko. Yeah, definitely go for the Drake here, definitely stop it from getting sold. They definitely have to go for the Drake. Apple squad. Let's look at the, um, the damage charts here. Yeah, like I expected, it was it was definitely a lot put on the back of the Kaisa, this Kaisa pick, a lot put on the back of the Zoe pick, and a lot put in the back of this um, Silas pick. That Silas definitely came up huge, definitely came up clutch in that last team fight at the Red Nexus, and he definitely put in the work with uh, helping his team to the victory. Let me, hmm. healing done, not bad. Not bad from the Zach. I was expecting a little bit more healing because of this uh, Moonstone Renewer plus Staff of Flowing Water combination for the Seraphine. But unfortunately, probably just, doesn't, just wasn't in enough fights for it to be useful. But yeah, the gold difference definitely, uh, definitely put a lot of gold. Silas managed to carry, do a lot of damage with what little gold he had. Because he didn't get a lot of resources, if you look at the gold graph. But uh, the Kaisa, the Zoe, tons of damage there. Tons of gold. Tons of carry potential. Still, uh, GG well played to both teams. That was a uh, very, very well play. No regrets tied to all the things we leave behind.